I'll show you the drawing that I have prepared. This is what I'm gonna, this is the drawing I'm gonna do as a leather mosaic. Yes, please do uh, put the light, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Ah, there you go, specialist uh, cameraman, he's good. Oh, I put not to see the reflection, okay? So I'm gonna be, that's, that's my project. I'm gonna do uh, this beautiful lady Chani Belle Laprade in leather mosaic uh, in my videos. So I did that drawing and I will show you um, uh, the different way to put that drawing into a leather mosaic. Um, so you can see that you can give any imaginable shape to every piece of leather as long as you have the patient and a little bit of skill, of course, to, to do it. And it can be any size uh, piece. It can be a large piece, it can be a small piece. The only limit to that technique is, I guess, yourself. So I'll show you here uh, how I got that drawing. What you need with that drawing, actually. Um, this here is the uh, the color chart that I made for the drawing so uh, because this is made out of uh, coloring the colors is made with the uh, color pencil it's it's not the the finished product is the leather mosaic it's not the drawing itself so it's of not of no va the drawing itself is not really of any value so you can do it in in, in any way that's not what you want to uh, to present or to sell you know it's the it's the, it's the leather mosaic so I use uh, coloring pens to give me an idea of what my drawing will look like uh, once it's done in leather mosaic so every color of uh, of pencil uh, represents a color of leather that I've uh, that I'm going to use to make the leather mosaic so when I give numbers to uh, my leather so that way I can look at my drawing and, s and when I start doing the mosaic and, and put the, the proper color of leather for the proper piece uh, where, it has to, where it has to go in the mosaic. Um, of course you have to have the imagination that you know you have to be able to see uh, the colors you put in, in coloring pen what, what it's going to be really like with the, the, with the real leather uh, colors. Uh, so that's the, my color chart. You're going to need to do a, a, a decalque. Uh, I don't know how to say in English a decalque. Do you, would you know how to say that way? Mm -hmm. uh, a, 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 a tracing of your drawing. That's it. That's what, you're going to need one of those uh, to make the leather mosaic. And uh, you should also make, uh, <coughs> make the tracing uh, on separately without any colors <clears throat> that's true sorry Steve, I didn't think about that yeah uh, so you, you you know well that I photocopied actually that uh, with the photocopiers now that everybody has and the printers at home it's easy and uh, you can also uh, uh, as you as you get to choose your your different colors for the leather you're going to be using uh, you might as well uh, as you go along uh, you know, put the the, a num the different numbers of your uh, of your color. Here's here's actually how I when I started doing the, the coloring after I did the drawing, uh, <clears throat> I put the different numbers and uh, see I I made copies there so you can see step by step here how I came along to to get the final colors of my mosaic. See, it's the same thing. No. Well, this one is a uh, is another one. I'm coming near the end now of all the colors. Oh, there! Here's how it looks like the drawing in black and white. Ta-da! <laughs> That's like gives an idea here again of the lights and shadows of the uh, of the final uh, product. What it's going to look like uh, as far as light and shadows is going to be when the mosaic is is completed. Okay, so so that gives you an idea what to do what to work on till you get to see my video about how to make it. You can al already start working on your drawing project. You can, as I say, you can 
do anything you want. Just to give you an example, I'm going to do something here. Uh, take a blade. Je peux si, yeah, okay. So when I say you can do, I'm going to use this piece. A nice, let's say you want a nice, uh, you need a red line somewhere. Okay, I'm going to make a nice straight cut here and uh, I'm going to make here a little strip of red leather, red leather. Okay, so here we have a strip of red leather. It's fairly thin. Let me get a piece of white or something. So you can see how thin this piece of leather is. Let me get it to the right side. Okay. So you can do, with the Blanchet Saint Jean technique, you can do a strip, a line of leather as thin as that, if you have the patience to do it and the skill, I'll show you how to make sure that uh, such a thin strip of leather will stay permanently glued to your leather mosaic and you will not, when you pass your hand on it, you will not feel, uh, you will not feel it. You can even, I would say, that you could even do a little if you want to do a little uh, a, a point, a dot like this, uh, let's say it would be white, and that, that would be the uh, a, a white uh, uh, line, a, a white, uh, how could I say, it? white light. Snowflake. In, a snowflake. No, smaller than a snowflake, but you, you could go as small as that if you want to put a little dot somewhere in your leather mosaic, and it will, it will stay there with the Blanchet Saint Jean technique. Now, to show you all of that, uh, uh, I will show you one uh, similar work that I did back in 1983. I'll show you that now and you'll be able to see for yourself all the uh, possibilities of that technique.